I got a buoy ready. So when I find the depth, I'm gonna throw the buoy out. And that's gonna be where the first diffuser will go. Today, we're putting in the aeration system. We're gonna canoe out there with a, my portable depth finder and find the deep spots, throw a marker buoy out, and then use that to guide us as we position the diffuser plates. And so um, that's what's in store for today. This is gonna kind of be a compilation video. Hopefully by the end of today and the end of this video, you will see how to install a aeration system by uh, the pond guy, uh, Air Max. That's what we're gonna bring you today. So this is kind of an unboxing of our Air Max uh, PS40. Uh, for our pond, we've got an, about an acre surface area. And based on the layout, we decided to go with three diffusers. So I've got three diffuser sets. I'm gonna work through just putting together one of these diffusers and the other two will go just like it. It's 518. Give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God for you in Christ Jesus. And so, um, pause and give thanks in all circumstances. And I am giving thanks in this circumstance because this is exciting. I took four years of French in high school, but um, I don't read French. I read it better than I can speak it, but um, I'll stick with the English. All right. So these are six inch PTFE non stick membrane diffuser sticks. And we got a check valve, prevents back pressure to the compressor. And that's uh, that's this guy here. These guys, they, they are weighted. I, they, they must sink in the water. Her instructions for the installation of this guy. So if you're thinking about getting a, in a diffused air system, um, so far I'm impressed with the packaging, um, the Air Max by Pond Guy. You know, I don't know if it matters, but this says Air Max down there, Air Max. I probably might have it upside down. And so since we're right here, it probably matters none at all. Don't you want it to look nice 30 feet underwater? I mean, I think the fish might even yeah, I feel better about that. If you're gonna go to the extent of putting your label or putting your logo on a thing, you should probably have it where it's visible, even if it's under the water. I don't know if you can tighten these too much, but I'm not gonna go crazy on it. Just hand tighten and there and there it is here is one diffuser sled all set up and now I'm gonna do the other two all right so I'm back I got all three of them set up in each of these packages comes a, a reducer and a hose clamp so the 5 8 inch reducer and the 3 8 inch reducer depending on what size weighted um, hose that you got um, we got the 5 8 inch the, the the bigger one because we're gonna have a couple runs that are gonna be in excess of over a hundred feet this is the check valve that they talked about to reduce the backflow it's got these little arrows telling you the direction of where the air um, is is flowing I think like that is going to be good. Brought some pliers, screwdriver, 
you don't need those because it's all hand hand tight we're gonna get some oxygen pumped into this pond um, oxygen is the number one thing to do to keep your water clean uh, to keep your fish healthy um, just like humans we need oxygen to breathe um, pond no different here's one um, one diffuser plate with a hundred feet of weighted hose this is the 5 8 inch and then this is the PS 40 system you can have up to four diffusers this is what you can expect if you um, are considering an air max system let's go install it All right, guys, we have had one casualty. This is user error, uh, not the product's fault, but I've managed to bust off one of these. So I hope that this um, can just be a warning for you. If you see this, um, be very careful. Otherwise, you will break them off and you'll have to spend $90 to get a new one of these, um, which I just ordered. So that's gonna set us back a little bit today. We still got two diffusers to put in. All right, dug out a base, about the size of the platform. Well, a base for the size of the pump. It looks great for a diffuser air pump that sits at a pond edge and is going to cover most of this yeah <laughs> but look at this this air max diffuser pump platform is going to be the best one that you will find on the internet I'm not done yet, Phil's. I know, I know. Hey, it's that. always, it's gotta, it's, projects gotta look, get worse before they get better. You know? There you, you go. Said That's, you want the outside two inches uh, to look good. So. Yep. All right, stay tuned for the finished product. All right, pencils down. Um, you be the judge. Thumbs up. So today we got the post for the electrical that is going to be fed through this black conduit here. I'm going to tie the electrical outlet to the post, which is going to feed the diffuser pump right there on that platform. And we'll build another platform over here when we're ready with the recirculating water pump that is going to send water up this three inch PVC line up to the top where will be the head of the waterfall that is yet to be built but one step at a time it's October 4th October 4th um, so here in the Midwest central Iowa we've only got about a month and a half before we start skimming over with ice so we're going to raise the water level and uh get the diffuser in hopefully this weekend okay guys the electrical box is all set and we've got the aeration pump on the cement slab all ready to go all right, to plug this stuff in, um, one goes to the fan and one to the pump. One there and uh, one here. This is a 230 volt system. All right, doing some dry fitting here. Uh, we've run the air hoses through a three inch kind of conduit. There we go. All right, now you're riding along. Man, guys, this is the first time that I have been 
out on the pond. Okay, so we got a marker buoy out there that is marking roughly the center. We're gonna drag a, a diffuser plate over there. Okay, so after some planning, we've got our diffusers and we got our air hose and we've done some measurements here. Stuck a buoy out there after canoeing around. Found the deep spot that looks in the center to kind of make it aesthetically in the middle to have the bubbles coming up in the middle of the pond. And then we stretched a cord across the, the pond. So we're gonna hook hook up a diffuser on this end, turn the pump on, and one of us is gonna be on one side and one on the other, kind of feeding it. And once the bubbles are bubbling, we'll guide it so that the bubbles come up right where the buoy is. And so that's our plan. Guys, look, we got bubbles. Aeration, diffuser number one is in. It looks good. I mean, that's gonna be in. I like it. There's nothing we need to cut off on this one. We got bubbles. Okay guys, I um, want to give you a close up of our installation of the aeration pump. Our hoses go through our, our concrete slab here, through a, a PVC pipe and into this irrigation box. We thought this would just be a better install. We took the extra time today, um, dig this out and, and stick each of the four hoses connect to weighted airline that run through the box down the channel and you saw earlier i've got the we've got two diffusers out here on the south end and then one in the middle and i just threw our marker buoy out here for where the uh, third one's going to go and uh I'll probably just stick one over here, um, uh, I guess, over in, in this playground area. I think that's more diffusers than we need for our one acre pond, but um, I mean, if I've got, if I've got four, you might as well use them. Feels really good to get oxygen into the pond and feel good about this install. Um, Comes with this nice little little cap. You've got the um, the fan there that sits on there. Nice and nice slab poured. I don't know. I think it's the best install that I've seen on the internet. And I'd recommend the Air Max. We've only turned it on for 15 minutes today, but. Um, it's gonna be great. Got this nice little box like that. How fancy is that? And Basically, below the yard was priority one. All right, so we're hooking up the hose to the diffuser. The third one, because the other one broke.
pretty good. Right there. I don't know if you can hear that, but they oh, ran out of hose, like but right it landed right on top of it, right where they needed it, um, with the perfect amount of hose. Michael, which is fine. It's not that bad. I mean, this does curve. The pond itself curves. Three diffusers in. Man, guys, what a beautiful sight. Aeration pump is in. The electrical is in. The diffusers are connected. Our fish have oxygen. What a glorious day. Praise God.